Hello and welcome back to Merseyside for another occasional video about the operation of the Mark II PV uh, router. Our router is up on the wall here. Um, it is currently switched off. Um, it has already diverted the maximum amount of energy for our hot water uh, today so it wouldn't be doing anything even if it were on. Um, I've turned it off today because the purpose of this video is to demonstrate um, the behaviour, the tolerance of the uh, of the electricity meter to um, reverse flow, because different meters have different tolerances, and it is this tolerance that um, my design uh, exploits. So at the moment, we on a sunny day are generating um, 1600 watts, 1500 watts. It's gone down to 900 watts. Uh, one of the troubles of today is that it's a sunshine and clouds day, so the amount of surplus power can vary between maybe 500 watts and 2.5 kilowatts. Anyway, I'm convinced there will always be some surplus power, and uh, at the moment surplus power is disappearing out through the um, uh, out through the meter. Now, I have a 3 kilowatt kettle here, a little bit dark in the garage. If I turn that on then we will find the meter fairly rapidly responds and we are drawing uh, most of the consumption of this kettle um, is being drawn through the meter so the meter is responding by uh, giving us um, pulses every kilowatt hour every watt hour if I switch the kettle off um, we would expect the um, light to go on to show that energy is now being exported now what the um, router does is turn the power on in sufficiently short bursts so that it's not essentially um, seen by the, um, the meter. So if I turn the kettle on for say one second and back off, um, the meter didn't notice it. Let's try two seconds. One, two, now it did. So for the amount of surplus power that we have available in the house at the moment, one second is okay for um, turning the um, load on, but two seconds wouldn't be. Now as you can see the sun has appeared, so now if I turn it on I expect the light to stay on for much longer. Naught, one, two, three, four, five, and just as the cloud comes back um, the light goes off. Every time the LED goes off that is a chargeable event. So this meter is very tolerant. Um, it looks more tolerant when the sun is shining, but that's just because um, there's less uh, energy being drawn out of the, the meter. So now we've got the cloud back, and it'll take a relatively short amount of time uh, before the meter goes off. Now if you were to put the load on and almost immediately the LED were to go off, that would show you that you have a very intolerant meter and it would be best to operate um, a Mark II PV router in its normal mode where the response is almost instantaneous as opposed to the anti-flicker mode where the um, on and off transitions are as slow as the meter um, will allow. So we've now got some sun back and it should take quite a long time for the, um, for the light to be extinguished. So I turn on the kettle and it takes oh now we've <laughs> now we've got some cloud so on this day when sun and cloud are happening within seconds of each other um, we get a very very variable behavior but um, hopefully you can see that this is a tolerant meter and if you were to do the same test with your own meter and the light um, the light were to go off almost immediately then that shows you would show you that you have a very intolerant meter and if you were to operate a Mark II PV router in anti-flicker mode, you'd have to have it on a very tight setting, or the sensible thing to do might be to operate it in its normal mode, where the transitions are as fast as possible to ensure that the energy level is pegged as tightly as possible, so that should be suitable for pretty much any meter. Um, any questions, um, feel free to contact me via the by my website which is mark2pvrouter.co.uk as an email address on the shop page. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.